Oh. Okay. Okay, so I am caught up. I didn't remember that at the end of Flute, um, Step Between Stars. I really didn't remember seeing that. I must have, that had to have been the one that I skipped through. Good to see you. I'd say you're right on time, but it looks like everyone else wants to be fashionably late. We're still finishing preparations for the conference, and Admiral Tuvok is already there. The Klingon and Romulan delegates will arrive soon, so we should head inside as soon as you're ready. Good to see you. You guys are already inside, ain't you? Oh, these are one player. It's a single player mission. This, this yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. No problem. At least this At part least is. I'm not sure about the rest. the rest. All right. Thank you for joining us here. Had we need assistance with preparations for the conference. The Romulan and Klingon delegations are still in private deliberations, but other delegates are arriving. Several preliminary tasks remain before we can begin the presentation. Your support in this matter would be appreciated. This Cardassian thug is trying to push Bajor out of this conference. We have as much of a right to be represented here as any other world. More than the Cardassians. They're not even part of the Federation or the Klingon Empire. I simply pointed out that as a Federation member world, Bajor has no need to send an independent diplomat to this conference. After all, Bajor has no separate planetary interests that would require their attendance here. The Federation speaks for them. exactly say that the state of Bajor inspires much confidence. After all, it is a Cardassian space station that the Federation uses to police the wormhole. Even so, the state of security at the wormhole is far from ideal. The Dominion has taken control twice now, hasn't it?
The Federation has never made a policy of preventing member worlds from overseeing their own interests in conjunction with Federation efforts. Or is Bajor going to be treated differently than other member worlds? Well, since you put it that way, I suppose I'll just take my seat. is um interesting has anybody figured out where the exactly is the where, the places for the security it's not like nothing oh you just, oh, place, you just them. place them one to one each. each yeah i kind of so, so that, that, that where you came in from you summon them there, there then you just put them one to each and then let them go wander there and wait till it's green seems. oh okay I see them I see them they see they weren't showing up before They're showing up now where do you want me posted sir where do you want me posted sir Where do you want me posted, sir?
tasks are right. complete. You should speak with Admiral Tubak again. Thank you for your assistance. Please take the opportunity to speak with the various delegates. Having an understanding of the positions of each representative will facilitate more effective negotiations. Sincerely hope that the Federation is not wasting our time here. If your presentation is to explain the threat posed by the Undine, let me spare you the effort. The Klingon Empire has been aware of this threat for quite some time now. The Federation's position is quite clear. We believe the only way to safeguard the future of the Alpha and Beta Quadrants is for all of the galactic powers to behave as reasonable oh, yeah, entities yeah, yeah. Oh, and work together to oppose those who would threaten oh, our worlds. I'm doing it. doesn't quite matter fast. if that threat comes from the Undine, the Borg, or the Iconians. The response is the same. The Zindi are here to support Admiral Tuvok's call for cooperation. We know what tragedies befall a people who are being manipulated by outsiders, as we once were. The Undine's lies and manipulation remind us of the Sphere Builders, whose deceptions led us to make one of the greatest mistakes in our history. There are five races on my we all know reaching a consensus can be difficult, but the Zindi are living proof that if we put aside animosity, our differences can make us stronger. Thank you for the invitation. Starfleet certainly knows how to organize their meetings on a grand scale. I trust that the Republic will be able to take a leadership role in studying this sphere. The extensive knowledge we've gained from the Solonay sphere should give us an advantage here. And after all, the gateway that leads to both of these spheres is in Republic space. Yes, the Undine. Very interesting. My security advisors have been looking over the data, and we are all very curious to hear what you and Admiral Tuvok have to say on the matter. You've spoken with representatives of all of the delegations. You should return to Admiral Tuvok. Oh. We are almost ready to begin. Will you complete the final preparations for the conference while I speak to Captain Sean? After that, your assistance in encouraging everyone to take their seats would be appreciated. <laughs> 